Hey y'all, I'm back with another hair tutorial and I'm super excited to be sharing with you one of my favorite hairstyles to do on my short hair. I'll be using some new products that I promise you that I would review, so if I have your attention, stay tuned. So this is what we're starting off with, an old wash and go that has been in my hair for about a week now and it's just time to revamp my hair. So the first thing that I'm gonna be using is the powerful shampoo by The Main Choice from the Do It For The Culture collection. This particular collection was formulated for Afro textured hair for untouchable definition and unmatched volume. Now this shampoo is really awesome. It's very, very rich in lather and moisturizing to the hair. It did kind of budge whenever I tried to detangle, but nonetheless, it is a shampoo after all. Next, I'm using the Magnificent Miracle Hair Mask from the same collection, and this hair mask is so thick and rich and buttery. I just love the consistency of it. And it's gray because it has charcoal in it. And it also has black cumin oil as well. So right upon contact of my hair, my hair just softened immediately. It's so, so buttery and hydrating on my hair. I absolutely loved this mask and I really did expect great things because the main choice typically always puts out really great hair masks. So I'm making sure that every single strand is coated and then I'm gonna comb through and really detangle my hair. After that, I'm applying a plastic cap to process it. I sit under the dryer for 20 minutes and this is my hair after. And it is so soft and hydrated. I love the results. Next, I'll be using the Accomplished Triple Layer Leave-In. This is such a very amazing, thick, creamy products as you can see it's almost like the mask and just as I expected it goes onto my hair very silky and smooth and buttery I really did love the way my hair felt after and look at that ponytail my hair is growing hey <laughs> next I'll be using the bold buttery gel by the main choice and this gel is very very thick in texture and the consistency is a little sticky in a sense but you'll see you'll see how it works okay I love it um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll apply that product to my hair and as you can see the hold is so so very strong and that is why it is great for afro textured hair because you get that hold you get that hydration you get that elongation that a lot of naturals are looking for so I really do love this gel and I expected to love it so I'm gonna go in with my finger coil method and I'm gonna start from the roots on down to the ends and I just twirl it around my finger in pre-detangled sections. Now in the back I am doing it a little bit bigger than I typically would but that's because my hair is so fine in the back and it is also very very loose in texture so I can do that because once I separate the coils they will get bigger. So this is the back of my hair and as you can see that gel really gave it a lot of shine and definition. So a little tip when using the Bold Buttery Gel by The Main Choice, I find that the more that you dampen your hair with water, the more workable the product becomes because it is so thick in texture. So I just continue to work my way up the head in horizontal sections that are about an inch thick and I don't even part neatly or anything like that because I don't find it to be necessary because I will be separating these. Like I said, I mist my hair with water first, detangle, and then I apply the bold buttery gel by the main choice. I find that it saves a lot of time when I do it this way and also it allows me to not apply too much product to each coil. I want to put as much emphasis on the detangling process as possible. It is so, so important to detangle your hair before you do any style, but particularly finger coils because you're going to get a lot smoother result if you do so. So when I get to the longer section of my hair, I like to hold the root of the finger coil and kind of follow my way down towards the end because it keeps it a lot neater. And if you're having trouble getting those ends to be defined, then I would definitely go over it again using a, a tighter, firmer hold whenever you do the finger coil because I have a little bit of damage on the ends from leftover 
damage from my big chop but you can kind of give the ends a boost by just tightly winding that hair around your finger and while we're on that topic of damage, I wanna let you know that in my opinion, I don't feel that this is a great way to style your hair if you're transitioning because it's gonna enhance what you already have. So if you have straight hair or straight ends or even damaged hair, it's not going to curl up by itself. Finger coils come out best when your hair is as healthy as possible. So after I'm done finger coiling, of course, I have to touch up on my baby hairs because y'all already know that is my signature style. And this is how the coils look so far. They're not dry and they will shrink up, but they're looking beautiful already. So I sat under a dryer and allowed them to dry. Then I covered them with a satin bonnet and went to sleep. And in the morning, I just go ahead and take the bonnet off and they're still intact. Next, I'm using Shine Pomade by Gross Secrets, and I'm applying that all over my fingertips and to each coil that I'm gonna separate. Now, I'm gonna separate it from the roots to the ends, and as I separate each coil, I'm just gonna reestablish that pattern and go clockwise in the motion that I actually coiled each coil. So, I'm just basically separating each coil about three to four times, just depending on the size of the coil because they vary in size, but right around three to four times for more volume. And I'm reestablishing that definition, like I said, by just twirling it in the same direction that it was set. Now, I use something like a pomade, something with a lot of shine because I wanted a lot of shine in my hair, but you can use a oil or a light butter or some sort, just depending on what your hair likes more. Using an oil-based product is actually going to reduce the frizz. When I'm done uncoiling, I'm gonna go ahead and take a pick and pick at the roots for more volume. And to finish off the look, I'm gonna go ahead and use my long metal tooth pick with the fist on it, of course. And this is gonna create volume and fullness. And that is how I achieve this super defined finger coil. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also share it with a fellow naturalista. If you have any questions or feel like saying something nice in the comments down below, please do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.